Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Fun with Charlene. Today we're in the kitchen, why? Because we're gonna do a cabbage recipe. This recipe is a healthy, flavorful, low in calories, <laughs> high in flavor. So we're gonna use one pot, it's gonna take us about 30 minutes, and before I go on to the recipe, I'd like to welcome all of my subscribers to the channel. Thank you so much for subscribing. If this is your first time here, come on and join the family and become a subscriber. Hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a video. And let's go ahead and get on with the recipe. Here are my ingredients that I will be using. I've washed and cut up the cabbage, chopped up some onion, bell pepper, and carrots. Those are my seasonings. The great part about the recipe, you can put whatever seasonings you want. I use black pepper, salt, cayenne pepper, and a little parsley. Um, here I'm using chicken broth. And to cook the vegetables in, we're going to use two tablespoons of olive oil, a cup of tomato sauce, two cups of broth, I use two small carrots, a small onion, and half a bell pepper. And this, this, these ingredients right here will probably make about four servings of maybe half a cup or a cup each. All right, we're going to put in our two tablespoons of olive oil. Let that get hot, and then we're going to add our vegetables. Okay, our oil is nice and hot. Go ahead and saute the vegetables. Get those nice and soft. This is always the beginning of a great soup. Hear that? Oh, then that sounds good. And that'll cook down, get real soft. Alright, our vegetables have cooked down for about four minutes. And now I am going to add about a teaspoon of salt and a dash of black pepper in there. Season those a little bit, stir them up, mix them up. And next we're going to add the main ingredient, which is our cabbage. Like I say, this is about six cups of cabbage. Let that cook down a little bit. Those flavors can mix together. All right, guys, I let that cook down for about two minutes, and now I'm going to add in my ingredients, my seasonings. I'm sorry. Put those in there. Mix those up, and let it cook down for another three minutes which will be a total of five minutes just to soften that up let those flavors blend let together. that cook down for about five minutes and now we are going to add in our chicken broth two cups of that and this is just a basic cabbage recipe and there's so many ingredients that you can put in here okay we got that and now we're going to put in a cup of tomato sauce and we're going to stir that and mix it up very well and then and you guys notice we've done all this in one pot. Isn't that convenient? So nice. You can have a home cooked meal in 30 minutes because now we've stirred this up. Got it on low. And we are going to cover it and let that cook for about 20 minutes or until your cabbage is tender as you would like it. All right, it's been about 20 minutes, and here it is, all ready to eat. All right, I'm going to get my ladle here, and 
grab me some of this. Oh boy. That's about, that right there is a cup. There we go. All right, you guys, come on. Let's see what it tastes like. All right, here we have it all bowled up and ready to eat. It is hot though. But um, this recipe is just a basic uh, cabbage soup recipe that I guess it's been out for years now where people used it to lose weight. You could lose, I actually tried it years ago and I did lose, I think, 10 pounds in um, probably a, a week or two weeks. I'm sorry, two weeks. I lost 10 pounds. And um, this is just the basic recipe for this cabbage soup diet. But what I was thinking about. You know, suppose you want to make this and put in like some egg noodles or some hamburger or some sausage. And I mean, this would be a complete meal. I mean, it'll add more calories to it, but it would be a complete meal to eat. But um, we're going to go ahead and taste it and see what it's like. Mm. Oh, my God. Smack, smack. Mmm. This is good. It's a little spicy because of the cayenne pepper. But man, like I say, this has so much flavor in it with so little calories. Great flavor. So you guys, try this recipe. I hope you like it. Let me know if you make it. Let me know if you added anything different. My um, take on this is you put whatever seasonings you like as far as, you know, salt, pepper, laurie salt, cayenne pepper, basil, parsley, paprika, whatever you want to make your um, soup. And let me know how it turns out. But I'd like to thank you again for coming to my channel. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. And I will see you in the next video. Be safe, stay blessed, and I love you all. Mwah, mwah. All right, take care. Bye.